What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today we're going to go looking for Zer. He's hanging out on Io. We'll check a look at his exotics as well. See what he's got that's worth picking up. He's kind of hanging out right there. You spawn in at the giant scar. He's pretty easy to find from there. You can hop on your sparrow and just kind of roll right through this little cabal base. Uh, very easy to find this week. And he's got some interesting, if not super powerful <laughs> equipment. It, it's very specialized equipment this week in basically all fronts. He's kind of hanging out right in this cave here. Right around the corner. Again, now that he is on the map, he's very easy to find. All right, so first of all, for the weapon of the week, we got the Risk Runner. Risk Runner is a very fun and interesting weapon, especially in PvE to me. The main perk here is Arc Conductor. When taking Arc Damage, this weapon becomes more powerful and resists incoming Arc Damage. Kills extend the time in this overcharged state. So this thing is actually super powerful in the right situation. You gotta be close to your enemies. You have to be taking Arc Damage. If those things are true and you're getting some kills, you are just massacring everything. You do a ton of damage. It puts you at a slightly vulnerable position, but it does help to protect you a little bit. And you're doing so much DPS with this thing close up. It's a very fun weapon to use, and it's very powerful in the right situation. It's very situational, though. Uh, in PvP, it can be great, too. If you take a little bit of arc damage and you come at somebody with this thing, you are going to be a very hard person to deal with in PvP. But it is super situational, right? It's not always going to get you where you need to be. And it's not my favorite uh, kind of archetype of submachine guns to begin with. So I don't love it in PvP. Other people are going to find it really useful in some situations of pvp in pve though in the right situation it can be great it's certainly a lot of fun to use so definitely pick this one up but understand that it is very much a situationally useful weapon uh, next up for the hunters we get the mechaneers trick sleeves these are again very situational it's got spring-loaded mounting increases sidearm ready and reload speed so if you really like sidearms, these things are going to be a lot of fun to use. Or if you're just messing around and you want to go with a double sidearm build, uh, maybe to do some PvE and just mess around, maybe you want to do a nightfall and challenge yourself, this is going to be the way to go. Uh, if you like to use a sidearm in PvP, then these things could be really useful. To me, I like, I like to have things that are going to make me feel a little more powerful, uh, and I'm not that huge a sidearm fan, so... Depending on what you like to use, how you feel at the minute, uh, these could be useful. They could be completely <laughs> not useful in any way, uh, depending on if you're using a sidearm and what you're really going for with your build for the moment. But they do what they say. They increase sidearm ready and reload speed. Next up for the Titans, we got the Hollow Fire Heart. This is the only uh, exotic that is specifically built for a solar Titan. So... It's got the Sunfire Furnace. Greatly improves the recharge rate of your solar abilities while Hammer of Soul is charged. So you have to have your Hammer Super completely charged up. And at that point, you start to recover your other solar abilities faster. That's nice. Uh, I like to throw my hammers when I got them. <laughs> so it doesn't tend to be that useful to me personally. But if you're in a nightfall or something and grenades are really good and melees are really good, uh, you, you may get a lot of use out of this if you're running a Solar Titan. Uh, I haven't found the Solar Titan to be that exciting in Destiny 2, especially comparing it to what it was like in the Taken King right when it first launched. And they've taken some of the abilities away. Uh, it doesn't feel as powerful as it used to. And compared to the just fun factor of the Sentinel and the pure power of the Striker, it just feels a little bit weak to me. Uh, so we'll see if uh, that gets changed in the future, but right now, not loving this exotic or the Solar Titan in general. Next up for the Warlocks, we got the Transverse of Steps. It's a returning exotic from Destiny 1. Uh, and the main perk here is Strange Protect Protractor. While sprinting, movement speed is increased and energy weapons are automatically reloaded. So the way energy weapons are reloaded here is that every couple of seconds you get about 5 to 10 uh, bullets basically loaded right into the magazine of your gun. It kind of just like auto-magically uh, puts bullets into the mag, which is nice, um, but 
it's situational, right? If you completely exhaust your supply and you're in P a PvP match and somebody comes around the corner, uh, it's not like you're going to automatically have a full clip. Uh, you have to wait a couple of seconds or 10 seconds, 15 seconds or so to get a full clip. Um, but it, you know, it does allow you to spend less time reloading, more time shooting, which is nice. Also a little extra movement speed while sprinting, not a bad thing. Uh, I'd like to do some more experimentation with the transversive steps. They're definitely different than they were in destiny one. Um, whereas in destiny one, you just had to walk over ammo and it would automatically reload into your weapon, which is really nice for certain situations. Um, with more testing, we'll see how useful these actually are. Uh, and we'll see how fast and how much of a difference that the increased sprint speed actually gives you in Destiny 2. But I picked these up uh, as a just-in-case, for sure. Uh, we'll see how useful they become. But I have a suspicion that in certain situations, they're going to be very useful indeed. So that's it. That's Zer. Uh, I still am hoping that we get some more options for Zer down here, below here. I'd love to see him sell more items, sell more cool stuff, maybe some some mods for weapons or you know some shaders who knows what he could sell but more than just four exotics per week and take him off the map bungie we don't want to see him on the map we want to we want to go out and find him for ourselves i think that'd be a lot of fun so that's going to do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching hit that like button if you like the video hit subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you guys next time